Greetings, I'm Craze Natley, and welcome to the Scorpion Box. The premise of this game got my attention almost immediately. Kind of an interesting one. When I saw this on Game Joel today, I immediately wanted to play it. It had humor written all over it. So, I would just give you the gist of it right here. Normally that's what I do, but it has a nifty little intro. A few days ago, Emily asked me to take care of her turtle while she's away for the week. Apparently, at some point, I've mentioned that I know how to look after turtles, so I had to agree. And I would really love to know how that came up in a conversation. Did you just mention that one day? Oh, and this is a great party we're having. I like turtles. I could take care of turtles really well. That's nice. I'll remember that. I love that little turtle. Yeah, I don't know if you realize this, but turtles are my favorite animal. I mean, they carry their home on their back. They're very peaceful. The few noises that they make are adorable, yet not entirely girlish. And they just have this character about them. With their little chins and their beady eyes and their squat bodies. I just enjoy them. Anyway, off that sidetrack. Turns out that her turtle Romeo was pretty easy to get along with. He lives in a plastic box and needs food once a day. But that's pretty much it. Yesterday I was at a party and got seriously drunk. My friend Luke offered me several beers, which was nice, though unexpected of him. I don't really remember how I got home, except that Luke probably helped me. It's rather weird since I thought he disliked me. Anyway, this morning, good God, after this morning, I woke up to feed the turtle. I found a frickin' scorpion inside the box of the turtle. I wonder if Luke put it there. Anyway, Emily is returning tomorrow, so I have to get that pest out of there somehow without killing the turtle. Or myself. The scorpion looks really dangerous, though. I agree with that. I mean, it has a glowing purple point of doom, and it has demon horns. I don't think I've ever seen a scorpion that looked quite that evil. And we have to get rid of it? Yep. Or at least get the turtle out. Okay, we have an inventory, we have a pause menu. Anything with a hover text is clickable. And we can go to other rooms that way. Okay, here's the box. It's a box which contains Emily's pet turtle and the scorpion Luke apparently put there yesterday evening after I passed out. I had to get the turtle out, but that scorpion looks rather menacing. Alright, let's take a look at this box. It's a box... oh. He, okay, we already knew that. So let's... oh. Oh! Meanwhile, in a parallel universe... Only an idiot would open that box barehanded. That scorpion would kill me in the blink of an eye. This requires a more sophisticated approach. You're right, that totally didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. I totally didn't try to reach into that box barehanded. Um... Use. With... And nothing happened. At least I tried. I thought I could shove it into the ink cartridge. A standard printer works pretty well, even though it only costs like 60 bucks. Not really relevant. The interwebs! Yeah, that's the same idea I had, buddy. Hoobo? Is that like the hobo version of Google? Uh, let's look up the scorpion. It's more pertinent. The Atrellian scorpion, Atrox mortalis, is a rare species of scorpion living on the plateaus of Atrellia, wherever that is. The Atrellian scorpion is a peculiar species of scorpion, having several special features. It is considered the world's most dangerous scorpion because of its deadly venom. That's wonderful. Which can kill a human within a few minutes. Along with its poison, the Echerian scorpion seems to harbor an unexpected hatred towards mammals. You know, I'm a mammal. Attacking them without provocation. Their extreme speed and agility makes them extremely dangerous for humans. So you're telling me this is not only the most dangerous scorpion on Earth, it hunts humans. And hunts anything that is warm-blooded. 
Thanks. Unlike other species of scorpions, Atralians demonstrate curious behavior, which some researchers have speculated to be connected to emotions. It has been shown that Atralian scorpions can react to human speech and voices. Locals from the Atralian plateaus have stories of humans singing or talking the scorpions into an almost trance-like state, rendering them temporarily harmless. Citation needed. You know, that was looking pretty good. Until he had the citation needed, now we're into know-it-all, not even Wikipedia, know-it-all, the non-free encyclopedia. I had to pay for this? Atrelliant scorpions are, have accustomed to living in warm environments and are unable to withstand extended periods of coldness. They've also shown that coldness, you know, most places have a refrigerator. Let's find out. They have also shown a significant weakness to different common chemicals, which typically calm them temporarily. However, regardless of this weakness, Australians can't be killed with said chemicals and instead fall into a light slumber. Okay. Is that it? I'm, it was real convenient that this Wikipedia article didn't have, like, taxonomy and regional information and endangered status, but instead gave me several ways to get rid of them. No. I'm okay with this. So what do we got besides penguin posters? Paper. Not gonna let me pick it up. A few random books. The White Castle by Orhan Pamuk. I bet that's a real book and I've never heard of it. Now, oh, I have absolutely no idea what that is. Actually, it looks like something Luke would read. Makes me wonder why it's here. Perhaps I had to write some kind of essay with that about it back in school. Then you would have remembered it. Come on. Hmm, a pair of old gloves. It's been quite some time since these have seen use. Unfortunately, they probably weren't made to protect you from scorpions. That's true, but put them on anyway. A sturdy saw that I got from my father years ago when he bought a new one. Interesting, eh? May prove useful to my situation, though. Oh, okay, we're gonna saw things. Let's power drill things, too. Rechargeable drill. Handy for drilling holes into stuff. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Not quite sure why I have this, though. Perhaps I borrowed it from someone. Doesn't matter. I think I'd like to poke that scorpion dead with this. I'm gonna try to not kill the horrible scorpion, although... An empty cardboard box. Looks like it once contained an oil filter for a car. It really is a wonder the sort of useless stuff you can find in your closet. Sometimes it feels like a magical world, full of unicorns and wondrous rainbows. What a weird thing to say. It's like, you've been reading Narnia just a little bit too much. A radio? <gasps> Singing! My old radio from the days before digital music made it obsolete. Had a pretty good time jamming with it back in the day. Are you not going to let me pick it up? Okay. Computer, printer. What's in the drawer? Yeah, I know it's a drawer. Open it. A pen. You could poke it with things. Hmm, a good old stamp. It shouldn't be lying there since I'm probably going to forget about it. Just like I already forgot about mailing that box. Might as well pick it up. Okay. Scissors. My scissors, which unfortunately aren't really that sharp. I could poke the scorpion dead with these if that bugger didn't poke me dead first. Oh, you're not going to let me eat try that option? It was actually a pretty good one. Any more? A post package. Hmm, an empty package. Was there something I was supposed to mail? I can't remember. It's been there for weeks. So you got a box. You got all the stuff required to mail said box. You don't even know what you're going to mail. It could be like an eBay purchase. You could be an eBay seller. And it's like, wasn't I supposed to send that video game out to that guy? Huh. Is that where I, um, I'm getting all these angry emails? Is that why I suddenly had 20 bucks in my account that I didn't have before? Hmm. Uh, apparently it's useful now. We can mail the scorpion back to where it came from. Poetry book. A strange poetry book. Written by William Blake. I'm not a huge fan of poetry, but I got it from Emily, so I tried to read it. Didn't get very far yet. Who doesn't like poetry? At least good poetry. Tape. 
Looks like I forgot this here after I attached that note on the wall. Might as well pick it up so it doesn't lie around. Not that it really matters in my apartment. Okay. Balcony door. I don't really want to spend much time out on the balcony. It's winter time and, cold. and freezing cold outside. Freezing cold is good. Can I go out there? It's kind of a good way through as my freezer broke. This way I can still store any frozen foods and stuff outside. Cold will hurt the scorpion. But turtles are reptiles and cold-blooded. Does that mean I'll hurt the turtle? Because if I kill the turtle, I fail the objective. Okay. An oven? An ever-reliable oven. We should probably use it more often. Using the microwave is much faster, though. Okay. A rather basic microwave oven. Does its job well enough with warming my microwave food. That is what it's for. And a fridge. M mustard and ketchup? Yeah, I know what that is. I can't pick it up. Butter. Beer can. Yes, you should... You took the beer. Yeah, I need that. Any kind of cardboard or shifty thing would be useful. I guess I don't need it. Okay. Let's go back. Dishes are dirty. And that's everything. At least I think that's everything. We got a lot, though. Let's use... With the... Scorpion and the turtle are clearly visible under the plastic lid. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Brilliant. At least it let me go back. I'll mail it to Zimbabwe. Okay. Untry. Use. On. The lid. Hmm. We gotta keep trying this. Can I just use it on the balcony door? I mean, I might as well. Hmm, I think the turtles can usually hibernate when they're in a cold environment. Perhaps if I place the box outside for some time, the scorpion will freeze to death and I can pick the turtle up safely and thaw it afterwards. Thaw it? You're gonna thaw an animal? Okay, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know, you're the one that wants to cryogenically freeze your friend's turtle. You tell me. I suppose that both the scorpion and the turtle should be frozen now, so I better go grab box and look inside. I got an achievement. A frozen box. The box and its contents are frozen solid. I realize that I may have made a mistake, but it's still hopeful that the turtle can be thawed somehow. Use. Open. Scorpion seems to be frozen solid, and as far as I can tell, appears dead. Don't really want to touch it, though. Hmm, the turtle's frozen solid, but its coloring looks normal. You know, a steak's coloring will look num normal if it's frozen, numbnuts. I hope it'll revive after being thawed. Just have to pick it up first. Looks like it's stuck to the bottom of the box. Oh. Oh, you're gonna make me scrape this turtle up. Uh, why? Use on the turtle. Um. Oh. Okay. Maybe I can just throw it in the box. Do I get a timer? I think the plastic box melts away. Okay. Great. <sighs> I'm a little lost. Maybe I can use... Yeah, maybe I can use it on there. I don't think that's a good idea. Of course not. But you did think putting it outside and freezing it solid would have been. There's got to be some way to thaw this.
Uh oh. Oh. You're gonna make this into DDR? Really? Why did this call for a DDR sequence? Okay. Finally, it's free. I was beginning to worry that it would break. Now I think I can throw this box away and focus on get dealing with this frozen turtle. Hmm. Emily tried to call me through that ordeal. Better not call her back just yet. I'm getting bored of that ringtone, though. <laughs> Sorry, can't answer phone. Doing turtle DDR. This is going to be a really bad idea. Oh god. <laughs> ah, I got rusted. Oh fuck, what was I think when I put it in there? Yeah, it was. And again, why does it always crash? What? What? Why am I... This has suddenly gotten very meta. Well, luckily we created a store point just before the air. Someone should get that Smith guy down here and look at this. For now, let's just restore and hope for the best. It's the best Matrix glitch ever. And apparently that was an achievement. Okay. This is still a bad idea. What? Huh? I did it? They work perfectly. The turtle appears rather healthy. So I got it! Alright guys, we're gonna try to find them all. I'll be back when I get another one. Alright guys, I've suddenly got an idea, a brilliant idea. Let's read that poetry to the scorpion. It seems dumb, but it could work. Type the words that appear on the screen to recite the poem? Is this just a giant... Now it's Mavis Beacon. Okay. Uh, no. This is hard. In the forest of the night. What immortal... The scorpion relaxed visibly from the poem and appears immobilized. Now if only I could open the box and pick the turtle up while reading the poem at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. Hand or eye. Well, why can't I? That's using my mouth. I mean, I'm using my mouth and my hands right now. Badly, but I'm doing it. Uh-oh. Oh. Messing up the poem makes it angry again. Great. Die. Symmetry. What distant deeps or skies skies I'm not, no why can't you just restart the of thine eyes on yeah yeah I know what wings dare he aspire what the hand Dare sees. What do I do now? So I can't do anything. Maybe I have to fashion something. Maybe I have to fashion some sort of tool to pick up the turtle while this is happening. Alright, new idea. You know, it occurred to me that I didn't really try to open the lid while I was not agitated. Tiger. Tiger. Burning. I bet this is a real poem. In the forest of the night. Whew! 
I did it. Okay, now to dispose of this thing. <laughs> Time to say goodbye, little fucker. You're gonna get cold very soon. All right. That was one other way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can sell the box in half. Why would I do something? Oh, why would I do this? Oh, whoops. <laughs> what? Why does it always have to be something insane? Commander, we lost connection to the probe. Again? Sigh. Dispatch a new one with copied memories, and while you're at it, try to improve the AI. Aye aye, sir. <laughs> I guess they're all ways of resurrecting my stupid ass. Hmm, somehow I got the feeling I was about to do something reckless. I don't know. Aliens. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Let's continue that idea, though. Because it was a good one. It really was. It. I just... Use? Down here. Use again. Oh, uh, oh, I see what you're going with. Okay, okay. That's certainly an idea. Probably the hard way, but it's an idea. Out of curiosity, can I mail this? Can I mail this? None of these. Where's that stamp? Yeah, I need you. Let's see if we can ma mail this thing back to our little friend. <laughs> yes! Yes! Mr. Frio, we have a delivery for you! Now let's see what happens if I do this without taping, because I bet that's going to be something else ridiculous. Or it might just be the same way. Oh, it is different. Oh god, death is face palming me. Please, I know that probably you shouldn't do this, but please, please try again. God, I hate my job. I got face palmed by death. Okay. After thinking long and hard about this, the only real thought I have left is what it said about chemicals. But the thing is, the only chemical I really have left is this beer. Maybe I can get them drunk? I mean, it's silly, but it's an idea. I could just poke a lot of holes. I think that's enough holes. I don't want to break the lid. Hmm. Couldn't reach a scorpion with the drill. At least I have a box with some holes, though. Magnificent. Ah, it won't let me drill anymore. No, no. I have an idea. Huh. I poured the beer into the box for the holes. Hmm. Looks like the scorpion got drunk while the turtle doesn't seem to mind. The scorpion is so drunk that for now, he can't, can't do anything. Might as well pick them both up and get rid of the scorpion before the effect wears off. Let's microwave it. What? You'd let me microwave the turtle, but not the scorpion? And that'd be all of it. Figured it all out. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Craze Nally. If you like what you saw, just like the video on the bottom. And as always, click the nut on your way out. <laughs>